teachers of Reddit, what are some positive trends you have noticed in today's youth? 95% of the things kids used to get bullied for 10 years ago are now largely accepted. As a health puff, students tend to be drinking a lot more water than when I was at school. Probably around 80% of kids tend to have water bottles I've noticed now. I remember back in grades 1-5 I always saw people thanking the janitor. My dad would always tell me how that never happened back in his day. Our teacher here my 6-year-old students are really good with encouraging statements, absolutely unprompted by us. We were working with Clay and the shyest girl, who had never spoken once, said wow Riley, you did a great job on your bunny. It looks beautiful. Or when a girl cried because hers broke, a student said, don't worry Coco, you can repair it, it'll be okay. Just very kind things like that. You wouldn't believe a six-year-old would have the selflessness to say. They are not only more open about their own mental health, they are vigilant about their friends as well. Twice I've had students come to me concerned about a peer, once because a girl had started hurting herself and once because a boy was showing hints of suicidal thoughts. Both students are currently doing much better. This will be my fourth year working with kids with disabilities. The severity ranges from mild to severe. Not once in my four years have I ever had a kid ask, what's wrong with him? I've never had a high-functioning individual question someone else. And I really like that. Being kinder to animals, jerks I grew up with used to hit strays with stones and sticks. Kids today are much more open with their feelings. I hear I love you so much more. Not between kids in relationships, but between friends, no matter the genders. It's an amazing and heartwarming thing to see, hear. Empathy. Children today are much more empathetic. I teach five six-year-olds and have three special needs children in my class this past year, with one being quite extreme. The children quickly picked up that that child needed extra attention and would ask if they could help as well. These children give me hope all. I'd say they're better at forming their own opinions on issues and morals, which I would largely attribute to their access to the internet and thus getting to see and hear wider variety of viewpoints. I remember when it used to be that my dad likes Bush so I like Bush kind of thing but now I hear kids have actually individual viewpoints and intelligent conversations about world issues. Plus, I feel like they're more open and honest. It's not uncommon for kids to tell me how they're feeling or what's going on with them in their personal lives or what they think of what's going on with the class or me, usually all of this without any prompting. It helps me adjust to what they need and feel and want and also just helps us build that bond. When I was their age, 7th grade, I was a steel trap when it came to talking to teachers about what was going on with me, and pretty much all my peers were the same. I teach 2nd grade. They are much kinder and they are much better readers than kids even 10 years ago. I work at a preschool and the kids are so kind to one another nowadays. They still do the usual kid stuff, biting, hitting, etc. But they rarely see gender as a barrier when it comes to girl play or boy play, they all share everything and I think that's a trend the parents themselves have started changing at home. Not as a social message. Just easier to let them play with what makes them happy. Kids are incredibly intelligent. Because of the internet they have now they can learn about anything whenever and quickly. They also learn more because parenting is improved, teaching is improved and so they have so much more research on what they're doing that they become more efficient. The resumes I see from high school students are better than what I had graduating from college. I'd also second that they are much kinder. Some of the things I overhear flabbergast me with how different things are from when I was in high school 18 years ago. When kids actually commit to something they are extremely resourceful. They're more aware of the general goings-on in the world and have a strong sense of justice. Along with that, as others have mentioned in this thread, they are more accepting of differences. The bully, victim trope is less of a thing now, where I am at least, and kids usually love and let live. 
The flip side of this is that a lot of kids are getting faulty information and a lot of them carry fairly shocking, uninformed opinions because of what they've heard or read on the internet. Students want to learn. This is something many people misunderstand, especially some teachers. Students want to learn, but education is so slow to respond to society, especially technology, that we're asking 21st century students to learn in a mid to late 20th century pedagogy. My school still argues about cell phone policies, instead of embracing phones as the amazing resource they are. Our district talks about going one to one with laptops, when it would make more sense to integrate proper smartphone use into curricula. Honestly, we have almost an entire generation that walks into classrooms with the most important communication and learning device ever created and we tell them to put them away. Ed, but there is a famous quote about schools I like to remember. If you want to walk through a museum, walk around a high school. They're more pragmatic about the choices they make. Taking measures to reduce the amount of student debt they are going to accrue. They are also much more accepting of people of other cultures. Much less discrimination it seems. I see kids partaking in a wider variety of activities. The lines between stereotypical social groups are blurred much more than when I was a kid. Kids might be doing football one season, theater the next, and go to Lego camp in the summer. This is probably going to get lost but I teach emotionally disturbed kids who can't attend mainstream high school because of their behavior. These are kids that treat the majority of the people they interact with like shit. They use slurs and swear and can just be all round horrible to each other. We have one kid who's full on autistic, but the parents refuse to have him diagnosed so he's with us not in an autism unit. They don't say a word to him. They listen to him rant about chickens and rabbits and even ask him questions about it. It's so bizarre to see kids frothing at the mouth and calling me a fucking cunt and then gently redirecting the autistic kid away. They're so much more accepting of disabilities than my gen was. It's great. I have noticed that my freshmen, for the most part, tend to be very open I guess is the right word. They seem to readily share their thoughts, ideas, problems etc. with each other. They put each other's thumb, fingerprints in their phones, readily share them, and don't really have anything to hide. They are also super honest and upfront with me. I don't know if this is truly going to turn out to be a positive thing in the long run, but their expectations of privacy are very different than mine. I think it is an offshoot of social media culture, have much more focus on the environment than my generation. Collaborative learning through taking class notes on things like shared Google Docs. Students add in comments where they don't understand parts of a lecture, and other students will explain. Edit, how this brought amazing conversation. Thank you for the silver and gold, fantastic humans. As a teacher, sparking discourse is fantastic. Ask questions and stay collaborative, friends. It seems to me that students today are increasingly more aware, curious, and resourceful, everything from climate change to science, from the arts to socio-political considerations. They question things more directly, and are adept at exploring and finding answers as they adroitly navigate the Internet. Kids are more technology and research savvy. They're more practical in their goals but really aren't afraid to take risks. I appreciate that. I do sex ed for 14 16 year olds. They always ask how to satisfy the opposite sex and seem less selfish. Nerd, geek culture is more accepted. Not a teacher but I've noticed a thing going around my school that the whole class tends to band together and become like a family. Also if a random person, whether child, teacher or even parent, harasses one of them, they kind of band and attack the person usually with words and death threats for the kids. My students read constantly. Yes, it may be done through a different medium than I grew up with, but their literacy and ability to identify tone, author's purpose, and underlying theme is exceptional. When they are glued to a device they are actually learning about the nuance of language. Can we appreciate how wholesome this thread is? 
Kids care about the environment, which is more than can be said for a lot of their parents. Acceptance is definitely the biggest one. I teach 8th grade, and had a transgender boy who came out over the summer. One of the most popular boys in school and him formed an incredible friendship and even dressed as each other one day for fun. The really popular kid is a preppy jock, and the other boy is totally punk rock. And this is just one story of many. Yes, there are still those asshole kids who target anyone who is different, but they're now in the minority. I do teach a work for K2 and D grade, and man Fortnite is so popular with the kids. I used to hate hearing about Fortnite every day, until I realized that everyone was excited about Fortnite. The children didn't discriminate when they were excited. Boys and girls and students of color all would floss together. They have something to unite them, where I didn't feel this way when I was in elementary school. I learned to allow children to be children. I teach year one, I've noticed that they care a lot about the environment. Always wanting to recycle, stop driving cars because of the smoke. One kid even saw me driving to school and told me I wasn't caring about the environment and should ride a bike. They're also incredibly empathetic. Towards their friends, peers, animals, doesn't matter. For six seven year olds who are typically supposed to be self absorbed I think this is pretty cool. They are very accepting as well. There's a boy in the class next door with Ast, and occasionally when he has a meltdown, the kids from next door come to my class. After explaining why, all of my kids understand that his brain works differently and at the moment, his brain is probably confused and doesn't know how to process his feelings. None of them make fun of him, call him bad or naughty which I think definitely would have happened when I was a kid. Definitely more accepting and open of LGBT friends, family, and celebrities. A lot of the middle schoolers I've worked with in the last few years are actively confused by the way so many adults make a huge deal out of it. When I was teaching a student asked me if I was married, I said no. Then he asked if I had a boyfriend or girlfriend. The fact that he presented both options made me realize I was interacting with a very different generation. Not a teacher, but I've noticed the younger generation will not accept just any job with lousy pay. This is positive because eventually the scale on lower labor for more work will be tipped as there will be shortages. Also the younger generation aren't afraid to tell their bosses that whatever extra work is not required of them or is not within their job description. A lot of companies has been taking advantage of people recently. Edit. Some of the older Reddit members aren't seeing this as a positive because they just have a different mindset. Simple math is stop accepting mediocre positions and eventually companies will start to offer more and change standards. Know your worth and ADD tax. Added to, yes, of course, the younger generation knows they'll have to start from the bottom and work their way up. But I'm referring to jobs that, in a sense, take advantage of its employees. Funny example non-serious, when Michael had Ryan bring him a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Say what you will about Fortnite, but kids think the bus driver now weigh more than they used to. Honestly, everything is better today. Kids are, I'mo, smarter, kinder, more aware of the world around them. Boys feeling free to show affection towards each other and being more intimate and physical in their interactions. Makes the boys happier and contributes to an overall better classroom environment. Kids are much more kind and accepting of those with special needs. Just more kind and accepting in general, actually. Edit, wow this blew up. Thanks for my first gold. To add more context. I'm currently teaching preschool but this comment was based on my time in second grade. We had a few students on the spectrum and kids just seemed to understand their differences and not react or tease the way they did when I was that age. We had a student still in diapers for medical reasons, everyone knew and no one teased. There was also a lot less you can't play with us type drama than I remember. I've never worked with high schoolers so no comment there. But if our elementary schoolers keep it up, the future is bright. Not a teacher but here are some positive trends. 
kids are a lot more polite and understanding. They can easily protect people that need protection, if someone is getting bullied etc. They are less edgy, this is hard to believe because of those edgy subreddits but they are. They can raise their voice easier. Dot. This generation is actually not that bad. I've never heard a kid bullied for their perceived sexual orientation or disability. It's a great thing to see. I was relentlessly bullied K-10 for coming off as gay, feminine and it made my childhood very difficult. One reason I started teaching was to help kids that are bullies for being different and it happens way less than I thought it would. Independent as hell. Granted I teach high school, but still. They will take the initiative to get something done if the motivation is there. They're more invested and interested in political matters. Many of them are passionate about particular political matters and know how to back their opinions up with facts. I've taught at both wealthy school and poor schools and this is a trend I've seen everywhere. It's great to see kids finally taking some minimal interest in politics as compared to the general apathy of the past. Student here. Maybe it's because I'm getting more comfortable with my peers in high school but I've noticed that everyone is friends. There's not really any exclusion unless someone goes out of their way to be left alone. Everyone can find something to talk about and it's almost sibling-like. Not a lot of bullying goes on, if a fight breaks out, it'll break up really quick because other kids have no hesitation to get involved and stop it. Students are much more accepting of those who are LGBTQ. I don't hear nearly as many slurs as I did nine years ago. Secondarily, recreational marijuana is going to happen because of these kids. Actually, the easy access to computers slash internet slash cracked softwares from a young age makes a shitload of talented young creators. When I was a teenager, I was among the only few people in my school who would spend free time on photo draw or front page, it was the 90s, instead of playing kids games. Now it's much more common that kids will record themselves, learn to montage and sound effects, and so on. Because it's a very fun thing to do and it got so easy to provide yourself with decent softwares during the past years. Japanese kids are still polite. They watch out for snakes. Kids accept one another without it really being a big deal. We've had kids come out as gay slash trans slash etc and no one bats an eye anymore. It's excellent. Edit to add, I'm from the UK. I work in a trade school and we have lots of kids with autism. They tend to go into the internet shops, but some choose others. I'm finding the kids to be much more accepting of their differences, their delightful idiosyncrasies, and their lack of knowing how to navigate the teenage world of emotional turmoil. They were also way more accepting of the gay community as we now have openly gay students, which didn't happen much when I started teaching 35 years ago. I'm always delighted by teens. Tolerance. Live and let live attitude. They literally gaff if someone is LGBT plus at all. I still see people use gay as an attack on each other but if someone is truly LGBT plus they don't treat them any differently or bully them because of it. It's this weird disconnect that they don't understand when they say you're gay in a negative way that they're actually attacking LGBT plus people. But when my trans student's preferred pronoun is he, the entire student body uses the preferred pronoun. Only the other teachers don't. It's a big shift. High school kids I work with know more about what's going on in the world today and politics than I ever did at their age. Nice to see they want to make a difference and get involved. I've helped my seniors register to vote the last two years which is nice. They also seem to accept people who are different better, people with disabilities, LGBTQ individuals, and different races. Some are dicks but for the most part they are more accepting. As a secondary school teacher in the UK, the vast, vast majority of my pupils are so accepting of anyone that is different, from the SAN students to the LGBTQ students. Oh, John started wearing makeup. Great contouring, Laura now wants to be known as Greg. Alright, the girl with autism is arguing with her imaginary friend. No one bats an eyelid. 
That's not to say that bullying doesn't exist but for most, these issues don't phase them at all. This may not be the case everywhere though.